So, what is like in Paititi? Um, well, I was thinking about it, and see, for me, it's like uh, a giant, um, a giant, wild uh, palace laboratory. Cool, and at the same time, at the same time, it's very um, I don't know how to describe, but it's very like not uh, in this world. It's really like in this other dimension, uh, like in some kind of lost world. Uh, that we kind of search for and we we are not very sure what we are looking for but once you are here that's what you realize that uh, as a humanity we are so like lost and so separated from the nature uh, uh, that we kind of like come here and we think we're gonna learn, but at the same time we remembering. It's like I wake up every morning and it's like this Pandora, Atlantis, Atlantida uh, dream I've been always dreaming about. Uh, um, surrounded by the wildness and we're not having anything else to do more than be with the nature, uh, nurture our bodies, uh, nurture our souls and um, face ourselves uh, and work together in community and heal ourselves. And uh, especially Paititi uh, has this very uh, home feel. Uh, all the books, it's like painted from some dream for me. And um, all the wild animals around. Almost like a, a little bit like a Jurassic Park with... Uh, <laughs> Wild kittens and lots of ducks, uh, big spiders. Uh, I don't know. I, um, I kind of feel like I want to say that uh, it's so like science fiction, <laughs> and at the same time, it's so home and Gaia and. Um, like working with the medicine and all this wisdom that you get out of that experience, all that realness that you come to, the realness, real you that you kind of always been hiding to or hiding away from. And and it opens so much my heart and I feel the peace and I feel the immense opportunities we have uh, if we all awake one day and if we all start to work together and together with the nature and with the medicine and start to heal each other and learn and accept that we are not perfect and that we we, we show each other that we are vulnerable and, uh, and we make each other feel comfortable with who we are and where we at, um, uh, and we will create this amazing 
world of uh, endless opportunities. This is how it feels here for me. See, I, I have everything. I, ha I have everything and I really don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. I have friends, I have family, I have knowledge, uh, I have space, I have nature and beautiful food. Uh, I don't spend my time on things that doesn't make sense. Uh, I practice all type of different exercises and I have access to all different exercises. This place is just inviting you to really nurture yourself as much as you can and uh, plus uh, you volunteer and you learn and you heal and you purify and you work uh, which means you do your service, you do your karma yoga, you know you are devoted to the Gaia, you are devoted to the self, to the community So, yes, and the rainbows. Come. Yeah, it's still there. And the rainbows. And, uh, yeah, you kind of go back to... to... reconnect with all the natural cycles. Mm -hmm. And then you really realize that all that out there we really don't need. Yeah. So that's Paititi. Um, and, um, and I guess uh, that's the reason why I'm here. Uh, I kind of uh, I kind of don't have a particular uh, reason uh, to um, to arrive here. I kind of have been driven by the intuition. Uh, I met Roman and Cynthia and uh, I felt uh, how much their um, uh, personalities and uh, their ideas and and their vision was resonating with my vision, with the vision of how I want the world to be one day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have uh, been kind of uh, experiencing life as much as I could, always into extreme. And, uh, and after all I realized that uh, I have to uh, look within and uh, I started to walk the path of of, uh, of yoga and healing and uh, discovering um, kind of uh, all different sides of healings which could be massage, therapy, uh, work with uh, acupuncture uh, teaching yoga, inclusive um, acrobatics, and uh, uh, con uh, uh, contact improvisation, theater, dancing, you know, all that. It's healing, all that is healing. But I kind of uh, had this vision one day that if I really want to bring uh, the earth to, sorry, the heaven to the earth, then I really have to connect with the earth and with Mother Nature, with the Gaia. And, and also I have been for last seven years uh, working on my practice with yoga and on my practice with meditation and on uh, my practice with massage and all kind of different uh, therapies and and yes I realized that something 
is missing that uh, maybe not missing but mm, yeah something you know something I wasn't getting deep enough because nowadays I feel like we are in the world of yoga and yoga is a very trendy thing and one can get pretty much lost in it unless you really go to India and stay there serving with the old masters and something really deeply within me was telling me that I, I have to really go somewhere where I will be uh, truly challenged. And uh, so uh, grandmother Ayahuasca is, uh, is a real uh, sharp cut right into the core. And uh, I have found about myself loads of things that through yoga I couldn't, mm. I couldn't get, get that. I, I, I might have, now that I uh, have done the ceremonies, I'm like, ah, that voice. I heard that voice before, but I never uh, really put attention because I was always too high in the clouds. And... Uh, so that, uh, I was really looking forward to uh, to this very deep surgery and like mm. uh, being my real self and, and really like put myself on the ground. And when I arrived here, I actually, I must say, it was a deep calling. It was like a deep calling. I just like had this paititi in my head and the vision, but kind of like lost somewhere on my travels. When Cynthia wrote me about coming, I I was like, okay, now is the time. And when I arrived, uh, there was a shamanic permaculture going, and mm. uh, and that was like, yes. Mm. <gasps> I mean, uh, that's exactly what I needed to mm -hmm. like actually start to work with the soil and work with the seedlings and work with. The, to the matter, like the, the things that mm -hmm. when you're growing up you kind of think, oh, this scrapes from kitchen, this is dirt. And like just really is so wonderful for me to like work with the compost and work with the seeds and see how it is all growing under my hands. And we really don't need anything. Mm -hmm. We can do it ourselves, cooking on the fire. Uh, eating healthy and living in peace in spirit thank you so much thank you. uh -huh.